Good evening everyone, I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me for this video. This right here is an interesting application of differential equations. We're looking here at predator and prey systems, we have two equations which represent the change in population of a predator and of a prey over time. dx over dt, change in the population of either a predator or prey over time and dy over t, likewise the same because we don't know which one of these variables x or y represents the predator which one represents the prey and we will find that out when you're given this dx over dt for each of these you have to first start off by determining which of these represent the predator in terms of the variable is the predator represented by an x variable or the prey in terms of the y or vice versa and how do you go about doing that the best way is to find the solution of these equations as you see and when you're looking at this dx over dt you're looking at x prime is equal to look right here at this equation 0.1x minus 0.001 xy in this there's a common variable it's x you isolated you have 0.1 minus 0.001 y look at the lower equation y prime this is a change in y over change in time y prime you can isolate now the y over here is equal to y and now look at what remains minus 0.2 plus 0.0003x in each of these instances make these equations equal to zero we're looking here again and i'm saying it predator and prey models or predator prey systems in terms of differential equation we don't have a differential equation over here but we will formulate one and we will solve it Right now we're in the process of determining x and y, what do they represent in terms of a predator or prey. You know normally for biological systems predators are fewer in number in terms of population and the prey are more abundant because you need more prey to support a given predator population. Anyhow, yeah, when you're looking at this top equation, when you're looking at this one you can say x is equal to 0 because you can do x is equal to that 0 and you can do this is equal to that 0. The other solution for this is exactly what you see, 0.1 minus 0.001y equals 0. Now you solve over here for that y. You know you just, this is algebra, you take 0.1 on the other side, it becomes a minus 0.1, but then you divide it by this 0.001 minus, and you get over here y is equal to 100. So in one instance I'm getting x is equal to 0, and in another instance I'm getting y equals 100. Now let's look at this. When I'm looking at this equation, I know my y equals 0 because I can do y is equal to 0, then I solve this independently. Then I have minus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.0003x is equal to 0. Now in this instance, I'm solving for x and this is nothing but algebra. You take 0 0.2 on the other side and you divide it by 0 0.0003 and you get over here 666.6, .6, but I'm rounding it to 667. Now look at these values I've determined. I've determined two sets of values. One is 0, 0, x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. The other one right here is this, 667, 100. Now just by looking at this, you can kind of discard this because if over a period of time, you have zero prey, zero population, nothing will change. So we can just remove this. This certainly is a solution of these equations, but it's not a reasonable one because it's not logical. It's not practical because this signifies that there is no predator and there are no prey which is not likely then you have to look over here the larger number over here will represent your prey the smaller number here will represent your predator now we're not talking about here of mammals we're talking about tigers or gazelles this could be all in regards to insects or you could have birds and insects it doesn't matter how you name it you could have 100 ladybugs and you can have 667 aphids it does not matter what matters here is we've determined the predators are in terms of their count 100, the prey in their count are 667 and we know by means of variable the x variable over here represents your prey, your y variable here represents your predator species. So we've determined that. Now what's the next thing we want to do? We want to start creating a differential equation in the form dy over dx. Think about it. We have dx over dt, we have dy over dt dy over dx you can very easily look at everything here with regards to the chain well dy over dt and then dt over dx if you could do something like this these will cancel out you'll end up with dy over dt what is it that you can do you can do exactly what i'll show you dy over dt expression divided by dx over dt expression when you do that the dt's the time variables will cancel out you'll have dy over dx and you know all of this is going to be equal to y prime anyhow what's my this dy over dt expression it's right here minus 0.2y plus 0.0003xy what's my dx over dt my change in dx or your change in prey over time 
it's this equation right here, 0.1x minus 0.001xy. Now what have I done over here? I've here determined my differential equation, dy or dx is equal to exactly what you see right here. dy or dx, your differential equation is equal to minus 0.2y plus 0.0003xy divided by 0.1x minus 0.001xy. That's your differential equation. Now, if supposedly you were asked to solve it, we can solve it. But before we solve it, let's take again a look at this right here. 667 comma 100. This represents here your equilibrium point. What does the equilibrium point mean? That this predator and prey system or this environment which has this certain predator and certain prey species, when it's at equilibrium, you need 667 prey count to support a predator count of 100. If the system is disturbed such as the number of predators decreases and the prey will increase. If the number of prey decreases and the predator will decrease. If the number of prey increases and likelihood is that the predator count will also increase. So, but this right here represents your equilibrium point or your equilibrium solution. 667 prey of this specific species are needed to support a 100 predator of this specific species, whatever it might be. Anyhow, we're, we're right here at the differential equation. Let's solve it. And what are you thinking about in your head in terms of solving it? Well, when I look at this particular differential equation, I'm seeing a possibility or an opportunity to separate the variables and then you can come up with the equation that will very well solve that or represent that. And let's do that. When we look at the numerator, you can isolate the y and you'll have minus 0.2 plus 0.0003x. When you look at the denominator, you can isolate the x. You'll have 0.1 minus point zero zero one y all of this you know is equal to dy over dx now all you have to do is get the y components on the right hand side and keep the x components on the left hand side the x components are what i'm writing here minus point two plus point zero 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 three x divided by this x is equal to you have the y components but they'll cross multiply you'll have point one minus point zero zero one y divided by y and then you know that's attached to dy over dx. Now bring in the integrals. When you're doing the integral, you're doing that. When you're doing this, you're doing the dx. This cancels out. Now you're looking at the integral of this, and you're looking at the integral of this, and it's not hard because you can separate these across the positive and the minus. Here, I'm really looking at a minus 0.2 over x dx plus 0.0003x over x dx. You know these x's can cancel out is equal to and you know you can do the same thing over here. I'm looking at a point 0.1 over y dy minus point zero zero one y over y dy. These y's will cancel out. Anyhow, this is nothing more than polynomial integration with some natural logs coming in. When you look right here, you're getting a minus point 0.2 natural log x. When you look right here, the x's will cancel out. You'll have a plus point zero 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 three x plus c. When you look right over here, you have a point one natural log y. When you look right here, the y's will cancel out. You'll have a minus point zero zero one y. And that right there would be the solution of this differential equation. We don't have to take this any further. We could literally stop right here. Minus point two natural log x coming from here, plus point zero 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 three x plus c coming from this left hand side is equal to point one natural log y coming from here minus 0.0001y and that's it. Again, this right here represented two equations. One representing the change in either the predator or prey over time from which we were able to determine what variable x or y represented the prey and the predator. And then we were able to derive a differential equation in terms of dy over dx given these two and then we solve that differential equation. And that would be the extent of what we need to know right now in terms of this application and with that, we'll end this particular video and thank you for watching this video. Have a good day.